Hey rabbits, it's Trixie and today I want to talk about German words and sayings related to hair. I don't know why, but hair can be found everywhere in the German language. It's like your shower after your girlfriend moved in. Nouns, adjectives, phrases, sayings, everywhere. So apparently Germans like it. Hairy? Just imagine I would have made this the title of the video. Do Germans like it hairy? All the extra views. But admittedly that would have been pretty misleading and probably drawn a bunch of perverts to my channel. Coming for hair, staying for boobs or jug ears or whatever. Still, since there are so many hilarious German words and phrases with hair, this video is definitely worth watching. And I promise there will be some dirty jokes anyway. So have fun and enjoy this hairy episode. First of all, Germans love to use hair as an expression of precision or close calls. The adjective haargenau, for example, hair exact or exact by hair means very precise. We all know that Germans are claimed to be super thorough and precise, so I guess it perfectly matches their definition of accuracy to measure it by hairs. However, you can also use haargenau in a conversation, for example, confirming what somebody said. Das heißt Das heißt, du magst mich gar nicht? Ha, genau. Just another German adjective you need to know about is ha scharf, translating to hair close or close by a hair. With close as in, whoa, that was so close, when something almost went wrong. Something similar to that would be um ein Haar, by one hair, or um Haares Breite, by one hair's width. 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 Again describing a close call, something that almost happened but could be avoided in the last second. Now let's talk about some amazing German phrases and sayings. When you want to say completely, like in a romantic context, you can use mit Haut und Haar, with skin and hair. Sandra, I just wanted to tell you that I love you. I love you mit Haut und Haar. With skin and hair? Ew. What about your heart? Well, love is a sensitive topic, or eine haarige Angelegenheit, as Germans would say it. A hairy matter. Ha genau, haarig, hairy, can describe something delicate in German. Which is particularly funny if the complicated matter has something to do with hair. Ah, I don't know how to tell my girlfriend that I want her to, you know, shave down there again. Oh, John, I understand. That's really a haarige Angelegenheit. If John really decides to confront his girlfriend with, you know, the fashion style of her private parts, chances are high that the two will end up having an argument. In German, you could also say John and his girlfriend haben or liegen sich in den Haaren or kriegen sich in die Haare. To have or to lie with each other in the hair or to get one another in the hair. Which is again pretty ironic given the situation. <laughs> now it depends. Maybe John's girlfriend will agree on shaving again. Otherwise she may show John that she also has hair in other unexpected places. What I mean is on her teeth. With that I'm referring to the German phrase Haare auf den Zähnen haben, to have hair on one's teeth, which means that you are self-confident and that you can stand your ground. Carrying out her personal principles, she may tell him, forget it, not gonna happen. To which you could also say, das kannst du dir in die Haare schmieren, in German. You can smear that into your hair. Granted that she's really mad, she may also start complaining about John now calling him names, naming one thing after another that she doesn't like about him, not leaving one good hair at him. Yep, you heard right, I snuck in another German saying. Kein gutes Haar an jemandem lassen means to talk about somebody in a very negative way, completely defaming him. This can be either with this person being around or secretly behind his back. But this whole story of John and his girlfriend starts to sound a bit far-fetched to me. Not to say an den Haaren herbeigezogen, dragged by the hair. So let's leave the two alone and talk about the next saints. Jemandem kein Haar krümmen means to treat somebody with care so that nothing bad can happen to him or her. I know that sounds very gentle, but be careful. If the care that you provide somebody with makes this person feel too comfortable, he or she may start eating your hair off your head. 
In German you can say niemandem die Haare vom Kopf fressen when you want to imply that somebody eats or generally consumes a lot of something that somebody else pays for and needs as well. The English equivalent would be to eat somebody out of house and home. So what do you say about all of these German words, phrases and sayings concerning hair? I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode. Or did you find ein Haar in der Suppe, a hair in the soup? I would really appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. If you want to watch another video of Don't Trust the Rabbit, you can find one right here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook or even support the channel on Patreon. This would mean so, so much to me. Now wish you all a wonderful day that is truly haarsträubend. Hair raising in a positive way, of course. And I hope that we are going to see each other in my next video. Bye!